Hi, this is Anthony with a tutorial on how to use Explain Your Video Converter to convert videos to MP4 format at 24 frames per second. If you're using Explain Your 2.0, you need to ensure that your videos are in MP4 format at 24 frames per second. If not, you will see this incompatibility video error. So this is the Explain Your Video Converter app that can be purchased separately or as a bundle with other apps. You will notice that you can convert videos to other formats as well, like AVI, FLV, MOV, WMV, and others. To convert videos compatible with EVC 2.0 Pro, use this uh, Explain the option right up top. And in this section here, you can basically include the video files to convert. In order to do so, you have to click this Browse button, and then choose the video that you want to convert and then click open and then you will see that the file has been uploaded in this section right here you will notice this output folder this is where your output file will be saved now you can click this browse button to change that folder and navigate to the appropriate folder and click OK and then in this section right below is where you can change this video settings if necessary I'm gonna leave them as default to full HD and then finally you need to click this convert button and enter your login details in the section right here and then it'll start the conversion process and once it's completed it will be brought back to this screen you can then go to Windows Explorer to the folder where you saved the file to find it and use it now, in case you don't have uh, explained your video converter, uh, you can still convert your videos to MP4 format uh, using this free online resource called onlineconvert.com. And um, there are some limitations to using this uh, uh, website, but I, I've used it and uh, it works well. There are some of the limitations are the file size, for example. So you can check uh, this video tutorial on how to go about doing that. Also, feel free to check my YouTube channel for more explained your tutorials. And if you've got any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks for stopping by.